What's up, chickies? It's Baron here. Today, we're going to be going into the IAE sale and, you know, any sort of given advice that I may have for you and just anything to help you during the sale to get you to where you want to go and just sort of get you prepared and ready. So, I have got other videos up on this, but I'm going to get into sort of a little disclaimer. I'm not personally for responsible for what you spend or what you buy and how much you put into this. You don't have to do this all by yourself. There are backers, other backers in this that are spending just as much as you, but again, don't put yourself out so that, you know, you can't afford dinner or anything. I'm just giving you this advice but if you want any sort of updates on the game as well or sales or ships that have been added to the store or anything I do have an SC news channel in my discord so go and check that out and that will give you regular updates. So really quick for those who don't know what war bond means it's actually you have to only spend cash from your card or your PayPal account you can't use store credits so it's a discounted price ship but you have to spend real cash to actually get it for that price. So if you're a veteran backer in the game or you're just a you know a long time backer and you want to give people advice go down to the comments you know people will be down there that really do need help and then you know they've never been to one of these sales before or spent the money on these ships that they want to get and if you want to go into our discord and help people but you're more than welcome it's always this is why I build this community to do this so if you use interest in IAE it will be starting on the November 19th and the Anvil Aerospace will be the first manufacturer to sell vessels so and many of you may know you are preparing for IAE as it fast approaches to the end of the month we've got about 13 days or so so for many of you looking for getting hull limited ships and just general ships even the new concept ships that are coming out that we don't really know much about I won't be going crazy myself I do have a very limited uh, budget as much as I would love to get a Javelin Idris or Kraken this year it's just not going to be something that I'll be able to do so it will just have to wait a little while so unless you haven't signed up to Star Citizen then use my referral code and buy a starter pack to get uh, one step closer to being able to play the game and then download it because your little referral will help me get to a javelin you also get 10,000 credits if you get a pack with 5,000 credits then that's another 5,000 on top that you get from using my referral code so we're getting into it we're going to be talking about hull limited ships in this section so if you are one of many who intend to get a hull limited ship I have a video in the cards and description that will help you with a method to acquire one of these but if you're going to war bond most ships you'll have better luck towards so the javelin I know sort of sits around for a little while the kraken and the idris they don't really sit around for that much but they do have that little bit of a time that sit there I know the javelin sat there for about three or four hours during Invictus so that's just one little thing so like I said I have seen those war bonds sent around but if you go for a credit ship, they pretty much sell instantly. So if you're going to get a credits uh, hull limited vessel, you're pretty much going to have to be as fast as you can. But again, if you do intend to go war bond, remember to check whether or not your PayPal details are correct or to go and check your credit card because or your debit card because going to that payment method is much better than going to PayPal obviously you have to log into PayPal and then go through that process where if you have your credit card you go straight to your cart you go to your payment method once you've done that click on your credit card boom you're done you've got it you know if you do get in that quick so having that PayPal method won't be one of the best things to have so just keep that in mind it's always something that you're gonna have to keep in the back of your mind during these sales so for each whole limited ship there are three waves so you want to make sure you try and have the funds in your account and everything is correct with your card details just making sure that you've updated them before the sale starts so you have to act fast there will be an update on the spectrum forums with a thread telling you uh, when the waves will start just so you have that idea when to go and purchase a ship because it is an F5's a war game like I said I do have a video in the cards to help you with a method on that but it's not always going to be guaranteed that you will get it so for said vessels um, if you want to get a privateer kit, an Idris K kit, they are also limited. So that concludes hull limited sales. But like I said, if you want those kits, they are going to be hull, they're going to be limited as well. So if you want to get one of those, you're going to have to be quick on it. You can't just dawdle around. So now we're going into general concept ship sales. So with normal sales, you should get yourself a good budget. But if you're like me and you won't well, you want to spend a lot, but you can't because you're, you know, very limited in what you can spend, then, you know, stick to your game plan. Don't just go and buy random ships and think with your heart. Think with your head on what you want to buy. So when, you know, you're making purchases in the future, again, make sure your payment details are up to date. And if you're looking at the new concept to be released, I would wait to see the price of them because they will have LTI on them. So if, you know, they're decently priced for what you get, then, you know, it might even be how you to get a few of them. 
like I said, if they're decently priced, then go and get a couple of them because then you'll be able to buy them back if you do put them into your buybacks later on and you'll be able to use them as a CCU chain to get to the vessel that you want. But again, if you have a limited budget, it'd be best to just stick to your game plan. Don't go off it and just go start spending money left, right and center. Um, like I said, we're going to make our way to like CCU chains now because this is something that's going to be really big at this sale and this is going to be the perfect time to start CCUing and getting those chains built up so that you don't spend the maximum amount of money and you do save some money and actually probably get a little bit more money out of your CCU value than you know. So again, for Hull Limited ships as well, if you don't want to join in those F5 wars and you intend to spend quite a bit of money on this game, you can always get the Manufacturer Pack. So you can get the Origin Manufacturer's Pack, you can get the Drake Pack, you can get the Aegis Pack, which has the Javelin and the Idris P in it. So you can always take that into consideration and spend that money over the certain amount of time that you want to spend that money, and then go and buy one of those packs if you intend to spend that much money. That's, of course, if you're going to, and that's for those people who want to spend that much money. But that's just a piece of advice that you may want to take and listen to. So into fleet consolidation, we jump. So if you intend to consolidate your ships into one pack, then this is a great but dangerous step for a lot of people because you can accidentally melt ships that are worth more now than you paid less for them earlier, especially if you used them through a CCU chain. If you melt them, you will not get them back. So if you want these all in one pack, that's great because you can use the concierge packs that you can, you know, buy and you can get LTI tokens. So before you actually do any of this, think about what you're doing and think about if you want to melt that ship before you melt it and if it's going to go up in price or whether or not it has already gone up in price since you last purchased it because it may not be worth doing what you intend to do if it has gone up in price because you'll end up spending more money on that ship and losing more money out of the budget that you intend to use. So in terms of fleet consolidation, what I mean is you may have a lot of ships in different little packs but you want to put them all in one big pack to have all LTI tokens which is fantastic and great for you to do that so if you want to do that in this sale you're going to want to think about what you want to melt whether or not it's worth melting and whether or not it has gone up in price since you purchased it last because if it has it might not be worth melting that certain ship but melting your other ships to consolidate those into an LTI pack and then keeping that ship as is if it has 120 months or LTI on it. So others can advise you on what you should do with your fleet or what you can do with it but it might not always be the best option for you to listen to because it may end up costing you more money like I said with the other ships so it's always up to you and what you want to do so there's always a choice and at the end of the day it's all about what you want to do with your fleet and for the advice for ships if you're not sure or if it's an imminent uh, price increase for a certain ship like the Banu Merchant if that were to happen then you know you might not want to melt that ship and you might want to keep it because if it's currently priced at a decent price like the Aries and then they'll have that price hike it might be just worth keeping those ships and then keeping them as they are and then you know building that pack that you want to get but then keep that other ship as an individual uh, standalone ship and not putting it in that pack so you know if you also want to go and get a certain ship so say you want a Polaris or you want a Merchantman and you sh you think it's going to go up in price or it's almost certain it's going to go up in price I would buy it I would wait for that 24 hours to go past and then I would melt it to have it in my buyback so that it always stays that price so if you also want clarification on your buybacks and what the case is and you know if you can save money there and if there's a price hike in a certain ship, but you know you want to save that money and get it at that original price, then I also have a video in the cards and the description for you explaining and clarifying that situation for you. But today, that's pretty much been a video explaining um, a lot of the stuff that's going to be entailed with this sale and whether or not you know there's good advice out there. And I just really want to help you guys with this sale. I don't want to go and get you know any sort of uh, clout out of this. I know there's a lot of these videos, but at the end of the day. I'm really here to help you guys, I'm here to give you advice on ships, sales and just anything to do with your fleet. I know that you know I do have a strong opinion sometimes, we all have strong opinions but mine is just out there a lot of the time and you know I can't help it but 
in this sale, I want to help you guys get those ships that you want and be able to achieve what you want to get later on down the track because you don't always have to get what you want at this sale. You can just wait and get it at a later date. Thanks to our channel members and patrons. If you intend to become one, that would be fantastic. That would help us out. Don't forget to join the Discord and check out the links and the discount codes in the description. But it's Ben Barron. I'll see you in the verse.